So this next section of orchestra of traffic is all about off Amazon advertising and really the power of harnessing the external paid traffic to drive rank for your business and brand. We're gonna cover a number of different tools, including how to track it through Amazon attribution. We're gonna talk through a number of different channels and over time, we'll probably build upon this module as we discover and test new traffic sources. So really the purpose of this video is to review how Amazon tracks user behavior and why running external traffic can be so powerful for rank. So a fundamental question that I asked myself a little over two years ago, which is how does Amazon track buyer data. And for those unaware, similar to Europe's policy, which basically requires that any website or software provide data to users that they track, there is a rule within the California Data Privacy Act where basically anybody can request of a US-based company what data they actually track on you. So you could ask this of Facebook, you could ask this of Google, you could ask this of other software companies, and obviously you can ask this of Amazon. So a little over two years ago, I basically did this exact journey. I went through and found out how to actually request my personal information with Amazon. And you'll see here in the help and customer service section of Amazon, you can actually request your personal information. From there, you basically goes to Amazon and my data, which just kind of summarizes what they collect. And from this, you can actually request of Amazon your data. It takes typically about a week for them to generate it. Um, so you kind of submit the request and then they get back to you. But then they ultimately email you a link. And from your own buyer account on Amazon, you basically click on that link and it opens up basically a war chest of data that they house on you. In my case, I think there was something north of 27 zip folders that Amazon was tracking on my personal buyer account that I'd had set up since I think about 2008 or 2009. So you know, north of a decade worth of data. So I painstakingly went through, it took me about eight hours one day and I went through every single one of these files and folders. And you can see there's all kinds of stuff here from Alexa to the app stuff to retail purchases, uh, I, I mean, Kindle, you name it. But the one that was super interesting, uh, it turns out was this search-data.zip. So that was really the mother load. And when I uncorked that sucker, that's where there was a war chest of files and tracking of my behavior and searches and purchases and literally every data footprint I've left over the last decade plus on amazon.com with our shopping behavior. So from this, one of the first things that came out of this, uh, you can kind of just see it was when is a search initiated? What was the department? Uh, was I using a browser, tablet, phone? Was I on the desktop? Was I on uh, mobile, smartphone? What was the device? So it knew exactly what device footprint I had. And then it obviously knew what the uh, the search term was. So, so literally every search I've done for 10 plus years is basically in this spreadsheet. Uh, obviously, you kind of know that Amazon tracks this stuff, or at least I kind of intuitively knew it, but when you actually see your own like account like this, uh, it was kind of mind-boggling. This is another reason why, by the way, that you, when you're using super friendlies, you never want to use uh, somebody that's used your same computer, your same phone, same office connection, etc., cetera, uh, because all this stuff uh, from a data footprint standpoint is tracked and can be correlated. So moving along, there was some other stuff here, um, but one interesting thing in column J that came out of this data was, is it from an external link, yes or no? And then um, was it searched from an external site? And then what was the first search query string in that particular external site? So you can see here, they're clearly tracking whether it originated from off of Amazon and they're tagging it when it is actually off of Amazon. Even more than that, you can actually see the first search domain and equally important, and this is why I think is super, super important, did the search come from an external ad? So they're clearly tracking every single thing that we type in and do. They're clearly checking and want to know if it came from external traffic. And they're also wanting to know if the external traffic actually came from an ad. And so when you think about it from Amazon's perspective, it makes sense why they're actually rewarding external paid traffic, right? Because you're bringing customers that were not on Amazon, you're bringing them to the platform and whether or not they actually purchase your product or not, I don't think that Amazon cares because they've got additional data now. If it's not a prime user, they have the chance to sign them up. They can retarget them with other products in their catalog. And I've got to think that that visit has a monetary value. And I think that they have additional precedence if it's actually coming from paid external traffic because it's dollars that they don't need to put to drive traffic. And they're clearly rewarding this, and I've tracked this extensively. They're rewarding this with organic rank. 
The other thing that's kind of amazing about this is it also knows which items were clicked from those source queries and which were added to cart. So you can see how many items were clicked before it was actually added to cart or bought. And this again is another kind of footprint for why we like to, especially in that super friendly phase when we're using kind of a research methodology, having folks click on multiple ASINs and ideally even adding multiple ASINs to CARP. So this is external ads and why it's super important. We're now gonna dive into how to track it through Amazon Attribution as well as the core traffic sources that we use for paid external ads.